This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV News.TV for Thursday, March 11th, and here are today's top stories. You are looking live at Harry Smith's colon? Ooh! And from our what the heck do you have to do to get morning news show ratings? Smith, host of the CBS Early Show, let his colonoscopy go out live and in color during yesterday's show. And better yet, Dr. Couric, well, actually CBS Evening News anchor Katie Couric, who displayed her own colonoscopy highlights to a national audience 10 years ago, well, she was right at Harry's side. Yes. And by the way, I just want to point out I'm wearing my splash seat shield because I was told I was going to be in the splash zone and I could have gone all day without knowing that, Mark. <laughs> Sorry about but that, thank Katie. You. Ooh. Now, the good news is that Harry's got a very, very healthy colon and hopefully very healthy ratings for the CBS Early Show will follow. All right, let's get technical. Cisco will be introducing a new internet data router that they say will more than handle the explosive demand for internet video now and into the future. Cisco's new CRS3 carrier router system boasts triple the speed of their current CRS1 with a throughput speed of 322 terabits per second. Is that fast? Well, Cisco says that can handle every motion picture ever made streamed in under four minutes. Yeah, I'd say that's fast. And CNN says that they have a new problem, and it gets much worse than being slam dunked by Fox News each and every week. CNN president Jonathan Klein says the world's most trusted network's more acute competitive threat is from social networks, as they effectively steal and monopolize eyeballs for great amounts of time regarding news and information. Klein has also stated that CNN will have to find ways to engage viewers and users for longer periods of time than they do right at this time. But it's not like this is CNN has to push the panic button now. 2009 was the most profitable year in CNN's 29 year existence. Sales, Marketing and Trends is brought to you by ComBridges, your internet and multi-screen marketing go-to guides. Visit us at ComBridges.com. Question for you. What's the most lucrative show on television right now? Hmm? All right, let's make this a little more interesting. What are the top 10 money-making shows on TV? And the criterion we'll use to measure is the amount of money a program makes each and every half hour. I'll start you off at number 10, and that's CBS's CSI, which rakes in $2.07 million every 30 minutes. Coming in at number 9 is CBS's Survivor. At number 8, ABC's Lost. And at number 7 is ABC's Dancing with the Stars at $2.56 million for every 30 minutes. At number 6 is ABC's Desperate Housewives. And we have a tie at number 5 between ABC's V and Grey's Anatomy, and each of them take in $2.8 million. Coming in at number three is Fox's 24. Taking the runner-up position is CBS's Two and a Half Men, and far and away the number one money-making show, just obliterating the rest of the field, is Fox's American Idol, which scoops up $8.1 million each and every half hour. All right editorial comment, and memo to Jeff Zucker and NBC. You don't have a single show on this list. It's something to think about. And finally, CBS, which has a healthy number of shows on the list we just talked about, will be increasing ad rates for this coming fall season. CBS chief executive Leslie Moonves has put the advertising community on notice that they will be paying sometimes substantially more, to be playing with the eye, courtesy of a healthier economy combined with healthier numbers posted by CBS this season. So, we will keep our eye on the eye to see if advertisers pony up to display their wares on CBS this fall. 
future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Just 12 days until the PR Measurement Conference happens at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. For information or to register, you can log on to prnewsonline.com slash measure. And the Cable Show 2010 comes your way in just a little over two months. For more information, head on over to 2010.thecableshow.com. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We'll be back again tomorrow with top news. And of course, Eric Mackerlin will deliver the sports TV news. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching and go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.